I, Michelle Talame, fully, wholeheartedly, and gladly give my life to Jesus and accept him as my Lord, my King, and my Savior. Well, that declaration by Michelle Talami sent the internet into a frenzy. So many people, fans and especially fellow celebrities, came out in support of a decision to serve the Lord. Now, people getting saved is something that happens all the time. But when you are a person like Michelle Talami, whose sexual orientation has always been questioned, it is big news. So how did she transition from this lifestyle to becoming a servant of the Lord? This is the untold story of Michelle Talami, one of Africa's most successful businesswomen. Let's dive in. And your friend recently, Michelle Talami, we're not? Okay. Okay. I have never been immoral in my life, ever. Promiscuity and fornication um, is not one of the sins the Lord showed me. That's a woman like me. I'm a dignified woman. I have never been what people, what some people are trying to um, paint me out to be. Born in Nairobi on June 23, 1984, Michelle Talami and her three other siblings were brought up in a strong and supportive Catholic family. Her father, Edward Hagain Talami, held executive positions at many of Kenya's top institutions, including serving as the CEO of the Capital Markets Authority of Kenya and an executive at Kenya Airways. Her family's strong Catholic faith was reflected in the school she attended. Michelle went to Loreto Convent Valley Road for her primary education and then to Loreto High School Limuru for her secondary education. One very important thing is I grew up Catholic. Um, my dad was a, quite a, a staunch Catholic, so that's how I grew up. And I went to all Catholic schools. So from literally kindergarten, I was in Flora Nursery School, and then I moved on to um, Loreto Convent Valley Road, LCBR, and then Consolata Primary School, and then High School Loreto Limuru. So you can see it's all Loreto, it's all Catholic. After completing secondary school, she attended the University of Nairobi, where she graduated with a first class honors degree in design and communication. Not satisfied with just a degree, Michelle Talami went to Italy to further her education. There she earned a master's in design. Her Italian isn't bad either. Dove in Italia? Si, un po. Oh, dove? Firenze. Ah, Firenze. Firenze. Si, parli italiano? Poco, poco. Oh, va bene, va bene. <laughs> After graduating, she entered the corporate world, working as an executive for various top brands, such as Access Kenya, Scott Digital, Coca-Cola, and Scanner Africa, a leading advertising firm. It was at Scanner Africa that she met her current Marini Naturals business partner, Niati Patel. So how did Marini Naturals come about? It's actually a sad story. In 2013, Michelle Talami's father, Edwin Talami, was diagnosed with cancer. In solidarity, Michelle cut her hair. Living in Italy at that time, she found it difficult to find suitable hair products for short, natural African hair. But one of the things I did was cut my hair my whole time in Italy to sort of stand in solidarity with him. And while I was in Italy, I'm like, wow, so how do Africans in Europe or America survive over winter? It is a big struggle. With kinky natural hair mm. so i was like you know what i think i want to just when i go back home start a line on the side while i do my branding stuff marini naturals africa's premier natural hair care line they launched marini naturals in 2014 but sadly that was also the year her father passed away The death of her father took a huge toll on her, so Marini Naturals didn't start operating until November 19th the following year, when they began selling their products and the business just exploded. While I was doing my branding, I was like, you know what, maybe it's time to just give Marini a soft launch. And when I did, Olivia, oh my gosh, it just blew up. Marini products are now available in over 10 countries, primarily in Africa, as well as a few European countries and the United States. Due to high demand, Marini Naturals launched a men's line in 2019, featuring prominent figures from the Kenyan entertainment industry as brand ambassadors. With this success came numerous accolades, 
Michelle Talamis Marini Naturals has been recognized both locally and internationally for offering some of the best natural hair products. Notable recognitions include accolades from Safaricom Blaze, CNN, and being named one of the country's top 40 under 40 business women in both 2016 and 2018. Michelle Talamis' private life has always attracted public interest. Mention her name and people automatically think of McKenna Jerry, now known as Chris Murithi. The two were the talk of the town when they were dating, not just for their love but because they were both born biologically female, which is uncommon in Kenya and Africa, although they denied dating in many interviews. So let me answer that. Okay. Yes, uh, Michelle and I are in a relationship. Yes. We are in a relationship of pure friendship. Friendship. At the end of the day, um, nobody can ever understand what's between two people. And, uh, People will have their own perception. Yeah. Own so you just let them be. If a man shot their shot, uh -huh. and it, it can go through, let's take it to the next yes. step. I am Makeda Takua. However, their relationship ended in 2021 due to infidelity. Michelle Talami announced the split on her Instagram page and discussed it in several interviews. I want to start by saying it's still not easy uh, what I went through. But today, I am much, much, I'm in a much better place. I am slowly healing. I've had other exes before, but this one was different. This one was, um, it was different. It was a different kind of deceit. It was a very different kind of pain um, that I, I felt like I was actually losing my mind. I was going crazy. I had given um, the person so much time to just come clean and tell me, what's going on instead of you know all the back and forth or playing games with my head and with my heart and eventually the truth revealed itself through the other lady and I just it absolutely crushed me of course. Chris Murithi is not the only biological woman Michelle Talami is rumored to have dated. In 2022 she was rumored to be dating popular Kenyan musician Fena Gitu. Michelle however denied the rumors claiming they were just friends. All I can say is Fena is a very good friend of mine. Oh, but you're not dating. <laughs> All I can say is Fena is a very good friend of mine. In the same year, she surprised many by declaring that she had never been a lesbian, but an androsexual, and that she was part of the LGB community as a supporter. I, I, I use shade, I'm a cuckoo, and I'm a cuckoo. I address you before that, that one, there's nothing to hide about my sexuality. I've addressed it before on my social platforms. Okay. So, I am androsexual. The term is androsexual or an androphile, meaning that I am attracted to men okay. or masculine energy. Despite all her achievements, she was still living a painful life, especially from being hurt by people she thought were her friends. In 2023, she went through a depression, and to her surprise, all the people she considered friends were nowhere to be found. And what are some of the things that you actually had to let go mm. as uh, Michelle now who is born again? Definitely a lot of ingenuine and fake friends and relationships and I'm so grateful that those are out of my life because those really steered me in a wrong path to be honest and also really broke my heart as well. So um, friends who are takers or who you know when you look back you were always there for them but they were nowhere to be found and some even abandoned you at your lowest. Um, some even you would never really know what you did to them. They were just, they just, you know, uh, left you. But that was the Lord doing that. Due to this severe depression, Michelle Talami disappeared from social media, resurfacing in May 2024 after deleting all her posts. She announced that she had encountered God, was now a born again Christian, and will use everything she owned, including her social media accounts and business, to serve the Lord. The post read, I have done fair share of publicity for myself, others, and brands. But today, I do it for the Lord Jesus Christ. It's a long post, so if you have time, you can read it on our Instagram account. Although many supported her decision to serve the Lord, some were and still are skeptical. Others felt she was turning to God because she realized she was getting older and wanted to settle down with a man. Michelle Talam. Oh, Reverend. I'm a prophetess. Michelle Talam, I think, uh, alikuwa ni, ni relationship na te. Ni alikuwa kalele. Eh, million alika fikiria, iki ni hoax. Eh, as, down a light guy. Come on, I've come to Christ. How, how do you, um, how do you attack that? And, and I've not come to Christ to, um, 
to prove to anybody anything. Mm -hmm. As I said, I wrestled with the Lord even sharing this story. I did not even want to. I thought I would just get to um, social media and just be this new person, but the Holy Spirit kept convicting me, you have to say this story. So anybody saying, oh, you're just saying this so that now you can clean up your act or so that now you can uh, g uh, get married, it's, it's, Actually, it's, it's laughable. Happens. What do you think? Do you believe this is a hoax and she's only doing it to find a man to marry? Or do you think she truly had an encounter with the Lord? Let us know in the comment section. From FFG254, we wish her all the best in a new Christian journey. That's all for the untold story of Michel Talami. But do you know what happened to the legendary Kenyan journalist Esther Arunga? If not, that's the next video I recommend you watch. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. See you soon. But I really appreciate and I'm just so blown away by the transformation. Like honestly, from my heart, I'm so happy for you. Yeah. And I wish you know that for all of us.